Today I'm going to teach you what I've dubbed the Speedy Beanie because it is super fast and easy to make and it's got all this awesome texture. It does have a little bit of a line where you join the rows, but it's really not that noticeable if you do it the way I teach you. I am going to be using Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick for this tutorial. This is 87 yards, which is perfect. You will have some left over, and it is a size six super bulky weight yarn, and this is the color Fossil. You will also need a 10 millimeter hook or whatever size you need to obtain the gauge. I begin with a slip knot, leaving myself a long tail. I do sew a pom-pom button to the inside of my hats, and I just use that later so I don't have more tails to weave in. So if you add your pom-poms like I do, you'll want to leave yourself a bit of tail so that you can add your button there. For round one, you're going to chain four and slip stitch into the fourth chain to form a ring. You can use the magic ring here if you would like. I just personally hate it. We're going to work round one inside this ring. You're going to chain two and beginning chains do not count as a stitch from here on out. You're going to make 12 doubles inside the ring. You will notice that I'm also crocheting over my beginning tail as I go. I do recommend that if you are making it exactly like me. So go ahead and make 12 doubles in the ring. Once you have all 12, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the first double crochet. You will be skipping over your beginning chain to do so. And I do pull the tail to close the hole at the top just a little bit more. For round two, we're going to chain two, and we're gonna place two double crochet in every stitch around. So we are increasing in every stitch around. And of course, at the end of this round, you should have 24 doubles. So just continue doing that all the way around. We're going to slip stitch into the first double to join, and of course you should have 24 stitches. For round three, we're gonna chain two, put two doubles in the very first stitch, followed by one double in the next stitch. Put two doubles in the next stitch, followed by one double in the next. Of course, you are just going to repeat this pattern all the way around, putting two doubles followed by one double. We're gonna slip stitch into the first double crochet to join, and you should have 36 doubles. At this point, we are going to check our gauge to make sure that our hat will be big enough. It should measure between six and a half and seven inches, or between 16 and 17 centimeters, if your diameter is not that, you need to adjust your hook size accordingly and begin again. For round four, we're going to chain one and turn. We are going to be working in the front loops only for this round. So right here is the back loop, back here. And this is the front loop, the one that's closest to you. We will be working all of our stitches in the front loops. Also pay attention to which stitch is your first stitch. Don't accidentally work into the slip stitch there. So we're gonna skip over that slip stitch. If you don't, you will accidentally increase. So you're gonna make one half double crochet in the front loop only of every stitch around. So it's that stitch there. I highly recommend that you count your stitches after every round because it's very easy to accidentally increase. You will see that this creates a ribbed area when we work in the front loops only. So you're just gonna continue doing that all the way around and I'll meet you there. 
So we are going to slip stitch into our first stitch to join. Again, you should count and make sure you only have 36 stitches. For round five, we're going to chain one and turn. For this round, we are going to be working in the back loops only. So that's the front loop. Here's the back loop back here. So we're going to be putting all of our stitches in the back loops. We're going to skip that slip stitch that we joined the round with. And you're going to make one half double crochet in the back loop only of every stitch around. So just continue putting one half double in the back loops only in every stitch around, and I'll meet you at the end. You should still only have 36 stitches. Now I'm going to teach you how to make the invisible slip stitch. Take your working yarn to the back of your work, remove your hook from your working loop, insert your hook from back to front in the very first stitch of the round, grab your working loop and put it on your hook. Draw your working loop to the back of your work. That is an invisible slip stitch, and you're just going to carry on as usual. For round six, we're going to chain one, and we are going to be working all of our stitches in this round in the third loop. That's this loop that's back here. So this is the front loop, this is the back loop, and here is the third loop. It is parallel to the back loop and in the back of your stitches. So we're going to be working all of our stitches in the third loop. You will make one double crochet in the third loop of every stitch around. And yes, I only started with a chain one because it is less visible when you do it this way. And you will see that it creates a nice texture because it pushes the tops of your stitches from the previous round forward. So just continue doing that all the way around and I will meet you at the end. You should have 36 double crochet when you're done. We're going to make another invisible slip stitch. So take your working yarn to the back of your work, remove your hook from your working loop, insert your hook from back to front in the first stitch of the round, put your working loop on your hook and draw it to the back of your work. For round seven, we're going to chain one and turn. We are going to work all of our stitches in the front loops again. So it's these loops closest to you here. You're going to half double crochet in the front loop only of every stitch around. Technically, we are repeating round four. You should still only have 36 stitches, and because we are working with the wrong side facing, we're just going to make a regular slip stitch. Now we're going to chain one and turn for round eight. We are going to work all the stitches in the back loop only again. So that's that loop in the very back there. Half double crochet in the back loop only of every stitch around. Make sure that you are counting your stitches after every round because it's very easy to accidentally work into the slip stitch from the previous round when you are turning your work. At the end, we are going to make an invisible slip stitch again. Now we are going to repeat rows 6 through 8 one more time, and I will link them in the description box for ease of use. So you're going to repeat the last three rows one more time, and I'll meet you back here. So we're going to check our hat length before moving on. It should measure about 8.5 inches long. If it measures 9 inches, you don't want to keep going. It's long enough. So I'm going to add one more round. 
you're going to chain one and work through the third loops again. Only this time, instead of doing double crochet in the third loop, we're going to do a single crochet in the third loop. So you're going to put one single crochet in the third loop only all the way around. And again, you should still only have 36 stitches. So continue doing that and I'll meet you at the end. Now we are going to make an invisible join. So you're just going to cut your working yarn without joining. Pull your working loop until the tail comes all the way through your last stitch. Then you're going to grab a yarn needle and go under both loops of the first stitch of the round. And then take your needle through the back loop only of the last stitch of the round. And you're going to want to weave your tail in really, really well because you're not making a knot like you normally would. So I'm just showing you I weave mine in all kind of crazy ways so that it can't come undone. Once you do that, you're going to cut your yarn. And now I'm going to add my pom pom button. I do get these from angieandbrit.com. I'll link it in the description box. Because this yarn is so thick, I split the plies in half so that I can use it to sew the button on. And then I just sew it over the hole at the top of the hat. You'll notice I didn't close the hole all the way, I did that on purpose. You'll want to be very, very careful pulling this yarn because we split it in half, so it's weaker. It's very easy to split. So now I'm just showing you that I knot it off several times so that it doesn't come undone. And then you just cut off the excess. Now this is what I do with my pom-poms. I get these from Amazon and they have the elastic. But in order for my customer to be able to easily remove the pom-poms, I give them a little tag in order to be able to take it in and out of the hat. So I'm taking it through the hole at the top that I left myself and sliding the elastic over the button. Now you can blow dry your pom-pom and add your brand tag. And you are done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.